The Lost Air, Wings of Fire, Book 2, by Tui T. Sutherland, follows Tsunami, a young dragonet who, along with her friends Clay, Glory, Starflight, and Sunny, is part of a prophecy destined to bring peace to the dragon kingdoms of Pyria. As the second installment in the Wings of Fire series, the story begins with the dragonets leaving the safety of their hidden cave to explore the wider world. Tsunami, eager to discover her sea wing heritage, leads the group to the kingdom of the sea, where they are attacked by a giant squid before being rescued by a patrol of sea wing dragons. Upon their arrival, Tsunami is thrilled to discover that Queen Coral, the ruler of the sea wings, is her mother, and she has a younger sister named Anemone. The sea wings, however, are wary of the dragonets due to their association with the prophecy, and Tsunami struggles to fit in with the customs and traditions of her underwater kin. While at the sea wing palace, Tsunami learns more about the harsh realities of the war that has torn the dragon kingdoms apart. Queen Coral's kingdom is riddled with paranoia and secrets, including the mysterious murders of Coral's heirs. Tsunami pledges to solve the mystery and protect Anemone, the only surviving daughter of Coral besides Tsunami herself, from a similar fate. As Tsunami investigates the deaths of her siblings, she becomes increasingly suspicious of everyone in the Sea Wing court, including her mother. The Sea Wing Queen's counselor, Moray, and the Royal Guards are high on her list of suspects. Tsunami's questioning leads her to the discovery that the murders were actually orchestrated by an assassin, with Whirlpool, a royal Sea Wing, and Anemone's tutor in Animus Magic, emerging as a potential culprit. Throughout the novel, the loyalty and bond between the dragonets of the prophecy are tested, as they must navigate the complex and often dangerous political landscape of the Sea Wing Court. Tsunami's leadership is challenged, and she faces the difficult task of balancing her newly discovered royalty status with her dedication to the Dragonette's collective mission. Tsunami's instinct to protect her friends leads her to make difficult decisions, like imprisoning an innocent dragon in order to cover for the Dragonette's suspicious actions. This act causes a rift with her friends, particularly Clay, who advocates for truth and fairness. The tension in the Sea Wing Kingdom comes to a head when an attempt on Queen Coral's life is made during a significant event. While Coral survives, Tsunami realizes that the assassin has been using enchanted statues in the palace to commit the murders. This leads to a confrontation with the true assassin, Gil, a Sea Wing Prince, and Tsunami's own father, who had been enchanted and forced against his will to kill Coral's heirs due to an animus-touched earring given to him by Orca, Coral's deceased daughter who sought to rule herself. Tsunami manages to defeat the assassin, clearing the dragonets of suspicion. Shortly after this event, Whirlpool reveals his true intentions by trying to kill Tsunami to further his own ambitions of ascending to the throne. Anemone, exercising her animus magic, inadvertently kills Whirlpool while trying to save Tsunami, leading to a traumatic realization of her own power's dangerous nature. The drama within the Sea Wing Palace leads Tsunami to acknowledge that the responsibilities of royalty could keep her from fulfilling the prophecy with her friends. Thus, with her mother and sister's lives secured, Tsunami decides her place is with the Dragonettes, whose goal is more significant than her Sea Wing duties. As Tsunami grows throughout her journey, she learns valuable lessons about leadership, trust, and the complexity of family dynamics. Despite her royal lineage, Tsunami realizes that her role in the Dragonettes of the Prophecy and her bond with her friends are her true calling. The book closes with the Dragonettes preparing to leave the Sea Wing Kingdom and continue their quest to fulfill the prophecy in hopes of ending the war and bringing peace to Pyria. Tsunami, now more mature and aware of her strengths and limitations, leads her friends onward with the knowledge that they face a world filled with challenges that can only be overcome together. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.